or high. Silistra, the seaport in the northeast of Bulgaria. Administrative center of the area of the same name and community. The population of the city, about 40,000 inhabitants. It is located on Danube directly on border with Romania and is the last Bulgarian settlement on Danube. For the first time the settlement is mentioned in 106 our era, when near already existing Getsky settlement, the Roman Emperor Trajan in the province the Lower Mercia on the Danube border. Founded the strength and Durostore military camp. Strong fortress. To which from Panania the 11 Klavdieve legion was transferred. Together with Trosmus in the Danube Delta, Sexaginta Priesta and Nova he settled down on Dunaskaya Road. Going on the right coast of Danube to Sermi. In Durastorum there was a turn on Pontiskaya Road to Marcianopol and Odessos. Around the military camp soon, also the civil settlement was formed. The inscriptions relating to times of the Emperor Antonin Pius. I governed in 138, 161 years. Specify the name of this civil settlement, Alai, which possibly was given in honor of the Emperor Publai Alai Trajan Adrian, who visited the military camp. In 169, during reign the Emperor Marcus Aurelius, the Rostorum the status of a municipality was given. The city began to be called as Municipium Aurelium Durostorum. From the moment of the basis, Durostorum played an important role as defensive point of the Roman Empire on coast of Danube. In government of the Emperor Gordian III, I governed in 238, 244 years. He was attacked by tribes Isredi, Copts, and the Sarmatians who intruded in the Roman provinces on the lower Danube. At the Emperor Decian, I governed in 249, 251 years. Both and Sarmatians attacked the Roman provinces again, having intruded in Mosia and Thrace. At Abrita with them the Emperor Detsi died in fight. In Avrelian's government. 270, 275 years. Fights with Gats in the field of Durostorum continued. In spite of the fact that the Roman army managed to break it is ready and to kill their leader Canabad, Emperor made the decision to liquidate the province of Dacia and to translate all remaining troops and the population from her for Danube. Thus, Durostorum became the boundary city again. The city developed in the same period and as large economic and shopping center. The being located in an so-called Illyrian customs is an indicator of existence of the developed trade and economic infrastructure in the city. In the city big public buildings, temples, baths and a water supply system were under construction, marble statues and bas reliefs were placed into squares. When in the summer of 303 years the Rostrum visited the Emperor Diocletian, Rules in 284-305. The city was already the administrative center of the province Molsatha. Same year in the city fortifications were repaired. Also the decree of the emperor written to them in Dorostorum is known. Dorostorum became also one of the centers of distribution of Christianity. Some of the first Christian saints esteemed by Bulgarians that is soldiers of local garrison they see Dora Stolsky and the Yuli veteran. English. 
who died during Diocletianovy persecutions and also Emilian Dorostolsky, who died in government of the Emperor Yulia Nadstapnik. 361-363 and in 388 Dorostorum became the center of local episcopacy. Ozentius Dorostorsky, the pupil of Wolfile, the first bishop of Visigoths, became the first bishop. After the disintegration of the Roman Empire, the city was a part of Byzantium. In government of the Emperor Justinian I, 527, 565 years. The Rostorum was strengthened within the program of strengthening of border of the Empire on Danube. To the west from the existing settlement new pentagonal fortress with massive walls was erected. The city continued to play importance in the system of defense of Byzantium. In 586 the city was attacked, was temporarily taken and destroyed by Evars, and in 594, 596 years was base for troops of the Byzantine commander of Prisk. Conducting military operations mined Slavic and Avarian tribes. Beyond Danube. At the end of 6, the beginning of the 7th century the city began to fall into decay, his population began to move to Thrace, and even Saint Isaiah's relics were transferred to Ancona in Italy. At the end of the 7th century the Bulgars headed by the Conisbarak besieged and took Dorostal. Received the name Desto, the city was a part of the first Bulgarian kingdom. Walls of the city were repaired, one of residences of the Bulgarian Tsars was located here. After adoption of Christianity by Bulgarians in 865 and announcements of patriarchy, the Dorostolsky bishop Damian was elected by one of the first patriarchs of the Bulgarian church. According to P. Mutafji Evan G. A. Atanasov, in 927, 971 years the city was the residence of the Bulgarian Patriarch. Dorostal kept the value as the important military center. In 895 the Bulgarian Tsar Simeon I sustained an MA siege of the Hungarian army which intruded in Bulgaria. In 968, under the contract with Byzantines, the army of the Russian prince Sitislav Igorovich intruded in Bulgaria. Having broken the Bulgarian army near Dorostal, Sitislav occupied the city together with other Bulgarian cities. Soon the Kiev prince quarreled with Byzantines and then the begun Russian-Byzantine war in April-July of 971 years itself was besieged by the Byzantine troops of Io and Simaskia and Dorostola. As a result of a siege the army of ancient Russia left Bulgaria and Dorostola returned under management of Byzantium, having received the name Theodoropol. However, the city not long remained in hands of Byzantium, and in 976 it was won by the Bulgarian Tsar Samuel, and in 1001 as a result of actions of the Emperor Vasily Bogorobojica passed under the power of Byzantium, again having become in 1018, after conquest of all Bulgaria, the administrative center of Ephema Peristrian. In 1074 Dorostal became the center of the revolt of Nestor. Headed by the large Byzantine dignitary, come over to the side of Risen. Risen it was succeeded to reach even Constantinople, but it wasn't succeeded to take him. This revolt was supported by the Pekinegs inhabiting Dorostal's vicinities headed by the leader Tatish. Alice. 
In 1086 he already independently excited a rebellion together with colleagues Seslav and Sation and established the power actually independent of the Byzantine Emperor in Dorostola. In 1088 the Emperor Alexis I Conan unsuccessfully besieged Dorostal and only in 1091 he managed to return control over the city. In 1116 Dorostal was captured by Sudolev Diogenes who enjoyed support of the father-in-law Kiev Prince Vladimir Monomak, but on August 15 the same year he was killed in Dorostola by the murderer sent to him. Vladimir Monomek, seeking to keep the busy cities on Danube, I sent army under command of the Voivode Ivan Wojtysza who put Posadnik across Danube. But Byzantium, most likely, managed to return the possession as soon Monomek sent one more army led by the son Vyacheslav and the Voivode former Ratiborovich which unsuccessfully besieged Dorostal and returned back. After the revolt as in 1185. And restoration of the Bulgarian independence Dorostal was a part of the second Bulgarian kingdom again. In 1279 the Bulgarian Tsar Ivelu sustained a three-month siege of the Mongolian troops in Dorostola. The Bulgarians are Ivan Alexander. I governed in 1331-1371. Was forced to transfer Dorostal to the despot of Dobrudi Dobrotitsa for the help rendered to those at war with the Hungarians. English. Occupying the Vidin Kingdom in 1365. At this time the Dorostolsky diocese was liquidated and the city began to submit to the Archbishop of Varna of the Constantinople Patriarchy. In 1376-77 years Dorostol was operated by Dobrotitsa Ivanko's son, and in the late 80s the 14th century returned under control of the Second Bulgarian Kingdom again. At the end of 14, the beginning of the 15th century, Dorostal became the arena of military political fight again. In 1388, after a campaign of Ottoman army to Bulgaria, the Tsar Ivan Shishman refused the city in favor of the Turkish Sultan Murad I. According to the Chronicle Saad, at dine the Sultan besieged Nicopol with huge army and Ivan Shishman was forced to look for truces. Murad agreed and Bulgarians kept Nicopol, but were forced to concede Dorostal. However, when Ali Pasha reached Dorostal, Bulgarians refused to hand over the city. Murad besieged Nicopol for the second time and this time Ivan Shishman agreed to Ottoman conditions and in Dorostola the Turkish garrison was established. Turks renamed the city into Silistria. But in 1390 control over the city established Walashsky Merch Old which kept him and in 1391. In the same 1391 Bayezid I by military force for a while returned on the control edge in Silistria. In 1406 Merch Old repeatedly occupied Silistria and held until 1415. Silistria finally was a part of the Ottoman Empire after Mehmed I's campaign in 1420. As a part of the Ottoman Empire the city was a part of the Vilayet of Rumalia, having become the administrative center of a Sandak of Silistria. In 1595 Silistria was burned out by Turks. In 1599 the city became the administrative center of the new Vilayet of Silistria which covered all northeast and the east of today's Bulgaria and also a part of Dobrudia and Badak. The Turkish historian Kayat of Chalabi who visited the city reported that the city the most refined of all on Danube, in him there were a lock of the governor of the Vilayet, five mosques and two baths. 
In 1652 the city was visited by the Turkish traveler Evliya Çelebi. During the Russian-Turkish wars the city repeatedly was exposed to a siege the Russian army. For the first time the Russian army under P.A. Romyantsev's command besieged the city during the Russian-Turkish War of 1768-74 years in June, 1773. Its siege lasted only 12 days and in spite of the fact that the Russian troops managed to break and fight at Kynard's he the reinforcements sent to the help to the Turkish garrison, Romyantsev raised a siege and withdrew troops for Danube. In October and November of the same year, the Russian troops under G.A. Potemkin's command suited the distracting city siege for ensuring withdrawal of the main Russian forces for Danube. During the Russian Turkish War of 1806, 12 years, the Russian troops under P.A. Agration's command besieged Silistria in 1809 again. The fortress was besieged on September 11, but after approach on October 15 of the main forces of the Turkish army under command of the vizier Yusuf Pasha, Bagration raised a siege and withdrew troops. Next year the Russian troops under N.M. Tomensky's command besieged fortress on May 22, and already on May 30 the Turkish garrison capitulated. In the Russian-Turkish War of 1828-29 years, the Russian troops besieged Silistria in 1828. Since July, fortress was blocked by a group of the General 50. Oh. Also in September was replaced by the 2nd Infantry case of A. She. Serbatov and the Russian troops under A. F. Lanzarin's command started active actions only since the beginning of October. But already on October 20, the commander in chief of the Russian army, P.H. Wittgenstein, ordered to raise a siege because of a lack of shells and bad weather. Next year, the Russian army under I. 1. The British command began a fortress siege on May 5 and as a result of active engineer works forced the Turkish garrison to capitulate on June 18. The Russian troops remained in the city after the end of war till 1836. The captain of the Russian army of the Bulgarian origin Georgi Mamarchev directed the city during this period. After restoration of Ottoman control over the city, in 1837 Silistria was visited by the Sultan Mahmud II in whose suite there was a military advisor German officer Helmut von Moltke. According to his advice in the next year Silistria was strengthened, including powerful forts of Medzidi Tabia and Arab Tabia are constructed and was a part of the defensive quadrangle, together with Varna, Shumla and Rashchik created in 1843, 53 years. During the Crimean War fortress was again besieged by the Russian army under I.F. Poskush's command 6 on May 18, 1854. Obsidional works went rather intensively, but just before the planned storm, 8 on June 20. The siege was raised and troops were withdrawn for Danube because of hostile statements of Austria. In 1864 the Vilayet of Silistria during administrative reform was included and again formed Danube Vilayet with the center in Rushchik. A bit later, in 1871, the Dorostolsky Diocese was combined with the Chervensky Diocese to the Dorostolo Chervensky Diocese with the capital in Rushchik. 
During the Russian-Turkish War of 1877, 78 years of active fighting near Silistria it wasn't conducted. My results of the San and Stefanski Peace Treaty and the Berlin Congress of 1878 Silistria was a part of the educated Principality Bulgaria. After the Second Balkan War, unsuccessful for Bulgaria, by results of the Bucharest Peace Treaty in 1913, Silistra together with southern Dobroduzi passed to the Kingdom Romania. During World War I, during the Romanian Company of 1916, the Bulgarian army took the city under the control. After an exit of Russia from war, Romania in May 1918 was forced to sign the separate Bucharest Peace Treaty according to which the southern Dobrudia together with Silistra were transferred to Bulgaria with the Central Powers. However, already in half a year the Central Powers got beaten in war and the contract was repealed and according to the Nauski contract of 1919 Silistra remained a part of Romania. According to provisions of the Kriovsky Peace Treaty of 1940, confirmed with the Parisian Peace Treaty of 1947 Silistra again I was a part of Bulgaria. With formation of the People's Republic Bulgaria the city gained development as the important industrial and agricultural center in the region that led to significant increase in his population. In the 1988 years the largest enterprises of the city were the port, the plant of electronic computer facilities, office equipment, the producer of Alka microcalculators, the plant of metal cutting machines, the plant of agricultural mechanical engineering, the plant of the gas equipment, furniture factory, Lena, and a group of industrial enterprises of Kamishit, the teacher training college. Several technical schools and professional schools, drama theater, the archaeological museum, the ethnographic museum and art gallery also here worked. After crash of communist regime and transition of Bulgaria to democracy and market economy, Many residents of Silistra migrated to other regions of the country or emigrated out of borders of Bulgaria. Sites Torostorum Astaki of a fortification of ancient Roman fortress Torostorum Silistra Danube Garden. Ancient Roman tomb the 4th century. Roman country house the 2nd 4th century. The medieval basilica is constructed in the 9th-10th centuries. The residence of the Bulgarian patriarch Damien. Medzidi to be the Turkish fort of the middle of the 19th century located to the south from the city. The art gallery is constructed in 1890-91 years in style Vienna. The historical museum is constructed in 1923-24 years as branch of National Bank of Romania. The reserve, Srebirna, the nature reserve, is located in 16 came from the city. UNESCO World Heritage Site Twin Cities Romania of Kalarasha, Romania Romania Slobozaya, Romania Germany Dresden, Germany Hungary Danauvers, Hungary Russia Arzeev, Russia Belarus of the lead, Belarus. Ukraine, Kamelnitskai, Ukraine. Northern Macedonia, Valais, Macedonia. Great Britain, Kettering, Great Britain. Serbia, Kakinda, Serbia. Serbia, Leskovac, Serbia. Turkey, Lulbergaz, Turkey. Brazil, Promisin, Brazil. Famous natives. Flavi A.S.C. is the commander of the Western Roman Empire, the free time consul. Demeter Kiev, the nun, the foundress of the Kiev Sacred Vdensky Monastery. Konstantin Kunev, the trade union figure, the deputy. Viktor Korechik is a scientist. 
Parfeny Pavlovich, the first new Bulgarian awakening. All so far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.